I just received this Dickory Dickory dock clock today for inspection. These have quite an interesting history. They were marketed by Kungen and Klump around the early 1900s. The early models were produced by the New Haven Clock Company. This is a Model 4 built by the Sessions Clock Company. The case is made from oak, is 35 inches long, and 8.5 and inches wide. It has the original mouse and dark stain on it. Earlier models were painted black. The numbers are made from brass. The lettering appears to have been printed on possibly an old letter press. Lettering on this clock is in exceptional shape for its age. It has a patent date of 1909 and 1910. It's been exposed to moisture at some time in its life, as can be seen from the rust on some of the fastener heads. A split here that runs with the grain of the wood at the top here. And if you look close, you can see a dark impression at the top where the mouse has been sitting for a long time. The number eight has broke loose from one of its fasteners. The mouse is carved from some type of wood. Not sure if this is the original white paint on it. At one time, the eyes and the nose had red paint on them. It's missing the tail. Not sure if the original was leather or a type of natural string. There are signs of white and clear adhesive around the tail location. So it's had a history of tail problems. The numbers show signs of possible gold plating, paint, or clear lacquer on them at one time. On the number tick marks, you can see deepened impressions from the printing press process. Backside is in great shape. Small chip on the back side of the face here on the top. A few loose joints here and there. Water stain here. Missing one of the felt pads. There's a joint in the wood here, so the upper half of the back can be removed. Someone has had this lower back panel off at one time. This hole is where the original fastener was. And here too. Nice original label. Missing a felt pad here. The paper in these old labels were printed on high acid paper and deteriorate with age. It's starting to get scuffed here and there and is flaking away with time. To protect it from further handling damage, I'll cover it with some paper. Here you can see where the pendulum has been rubbing as it's swinging back and forth. And here the other side of the water stain. The pulley that operates the mouse. Not sure, but this looks like linen string. Movement broke loose from its fasteners during shipping. I'll get this on the bench and inspect. And here a loose bushing. This end is tied through a crimped piece of brass. So as not to disturb the originality of this end, 
I'll untie the end from the mounting block on the mouse. Pendulum is made from cast iron and looks original. Casting numbers reads SA30. The suspension spring and wire, it's in good condition. The spool and pinion that operates the mouse. Some minor wear on the pinion leaves. The arbor is bent. It can be straightened, so not a huge issue. Nice clean stamped Sessions logo on the front plate. I've clamped the mainspring so I can inspect for pivot hole wear. I'll start on the back plate and move from the mainspring to the verge. Second wheel pivot could use a bushing. This bushing has some odd dents that don't belong on it. Not sure what from. Third wheel pivot hole has some wear. Fourth wheel could use a bushing. Almost looks like this movement was oiled without removing the old dried black oil from it. Escape wheel pivot could use a bushing. Verge pivot looks fairly good. The verge wire has been modified. Almost looks like someone used a scraper and gouged brass material away, making it thinner. Not sure what they were attempting to accomplish here. In doing this, all the gold plating has been scraped away and the brass has oxidized to a dark gray color. This intermediate wheel pivot hole could use a bushing. This pivot hole looks good. This movement post fastener is loose. And this movement post fastener on the other side is loose as well. A disaster waiting to happen. Mainspring arbor pivot is serviceable. A lot of end shake from those loose fasteners. Looking at the front plate, I'll move from the mainspring up the gear train to the verge. Some movement here between the arbor and the pivot hole, but not too bad. Second wheel could use a bushing. Third wheel could use a bushing. Fourth wheel could use a bushing. Escape wheel could use a bushing. Verge pivot looks good. The intermediate wheel pivot looks serviceable, but probably best to rebush it. A lot of wear in this center wheel pivot location. This hour wheel is for the mouse pulley. It should be friction fit on the center cannon pinion. Someone has glued the hour wheel solid to the center cannon pinion. Adhesive is soft and rubbery. Sign of a butcher here. This mouse pulley arbor fits into this hole.
the pinion fits up next to the front plate and you can see the hour wheel teeth align with the spool pulley. Not good. The hour wheel needs to be straightened so it will align with the spool pinion through its full rotation. On the inside, you can see the center wheel cannon pinion has a flange that locks it in place. By gluing the hour wheel on it, there's no way to remove the cannon pinion. Some large brass filings on the hour wheel arbor. Wonder where these are from? Something made from brass is getting a lot of wear on it. This click spring looks too long for it to be original. This doesn't look right where it goes in the click. Some butcher set a death trap for someone. If this spring ever slips out of the click, you can say goodbye to your fingers. Almost criminal fitting a click with a loose click spring like this. This great wheel is too loose on its center mount. Might be where those brass metal flakes came from. It should be mounted solid with no wobble to it. A ticking time bomb. Just look how it floats the full distance on the lantern pinion. Not good. Well, the movement is complete. Someone has installed several bushings. So it's been rebuilt at some time in the past. It needs a complete rebuild to be safe and dependable. I'll get with the owner and see how they want to move forward on this early sessions dickery dickery dock clock movement.